Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a foundation review, or another one, um, and it's on the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. Finally, let me just please address the lip ring. I am wearing a lip ring, just in case you're wondering, and it's a temporary one. I can take it off, but I think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like. I have the shade bronze, and as you can tell, I've used quite a lot of it. I think it's already halfway down. Um, it's what I've got on today, and seriously, this foundation is so, so, so good. It's one of my favourite drugstore foundations, but to be honest, like the NYX one that I tried yesterday for you guys, and the video is up if you guys want to watch that as well, um, that foundation was pretty good as well. If I had to choose, I'll probably choose this one, because when I wear this one, it doesn't really let me down. I mean, smile lines are minimal with this one, like minimal to none even sometimes. I haven't got powder on today so it has given me a bit of smile lines but when I have powder like literally there's not really any smile lines. This does have SPF 20, it says it's invisible coverage visibly perfect skin foundation. It has 24 hour moisture and hydration and this is what kind of made me buy it because I saw hydration and moisture on the, on the packaging so I was just like I need to try this. And it also says it has a pore blurring effect and, I have, and again I'm in the shade bronze bronze and this does have spf 20 but there's not really any flashback at all with this but it's really good to have spf in your foundation i feel like when i first bought this in Superdrug, i was just kind of like shocked because they had my color and i never saw that they had my color ever in their foundations or concealers so i thought what rimmel has my color i just bought it straight away and i saw moisture and hydration on it i'm gonna insert a clip now showing you guys how this foundation applies but it applies really nicely, gives medium to full, but it does cover pretty well in my opinion, so medium to full, and lasts. it lasts all day, doesn't patch up, it doesn't fade, the colour match is perfect, I think there's one or two shades above this, so the shade range is okay, it does not dry me out, it does, definitely feels hydrating, it's got a nice smell to it, I don't know, it just makes my skin look really really nice when I wear this, and it's just an all-round good foundation. I would probably give this, in terms of how it sits on my skin and my experience with it, I'd probably give it a, I'd probably give it a nine out of ten. I'm not gonna give it a ten out of ten because I feel like they still need to expand their shade range, especially in their concealers. But just in this foundation, I feel like they should have more colours. But I think that's it really. It doesn't. It just goes on really well. So a 9 out of 10, this foundation is a really good drugstore foundation and as you can see like it just overall just evens out your complexion, doesn't go on cakey. I prefer to blend it with a sponge but it does work really well with a brush as well. But I think that's all I have to say about it because I've used it so long now. You guys know that I, re I really like it and I have been using it in my videos so I even made my sister buy it because it sits really well on her skin as well. And a lot of foundations don't sit properly on my sister's skin, but this one does, so that's a huge thumbs up. But I definitely recommend this foundation. If you were to choose between the NYX one and this, I would probably recommend this one if you can find your colour. The one that's good, the thing that's good about NYX ones is that they have a huge hate shade range. Like, huge. And I would just ask myself why can't brands like Maybelline, Rimmel and all that lot, Sleek even. I don't know why they don't expand their range in their foundations. I feel like if you're going to come out with a foundation, you need to have colours for everyone. That's what I would do if I came out with a foundation. But anyways, that's why it's getting a 9 out of 10 from me. It is still a good foundation nevertheless. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. I will answer to them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video.